Hey friends and welcome to a um, mini sketchbook tour not only because this is a small sketchbook but also because it's not really a full one you can see I've um, named it a 9.5 one um, I actually bought this one in Berlin just to test out the art supplies I bought in Berlin when we went to um, a cafe or restaurant um, or on the train back home. <laughs> so I filled most of these pages in one day and then I slowly filled the other ones um, in the following weeks. <laughs> okay, anyway, I just thought, you know, these sketchbook tours are easy to produce and quick and I am a bit behind on my filming schedule. So let's dive into this. Um, Kenson XL Mixed Media Sketchbook in A5. It's a 300 GSM sketchbook, as you might see here. Um, it's an okayish paper. I don't like it too much, but I think I paid like four euros for this, so it's fine for what it costs. And yeah, let's begin. Uh, most of these pieces I did with the core watercolor set that I bought in Berlin. Um, it's the small travel set from Core and um, some um, um, water um, fillable brushes. You know what I mean? Water brushes? <laughs> I don't like these uh, brushes uh, too much and the set I bought was like three euros for three brushes. So um, one of them was completely broken and the other two were Nah. But nonetheless, this is what I did with the core set. This is the first one. Um, I didn't have a liner or anything and I didn't have a white um, pen to um, uh, set some highlights. So this one looks a bit hilarious. <laughs> but this was the first one to test out the um, set. I did this in the cafe right next to where I bought the set and I just quickly sketched something to get started immediately. And here is the second one. This later turned into my um, my business card. So this is my current business card design and this was um, not really intentional but this is some sort of <laughs> pre-sketch. Yeah, this was supposed to be a test for wet on wet um, but I couldn't control the water on these water brushes so I don't know what this is. And this is an eye because artists like to draw eyes. It's just what they do. <laughs> Next up we have another swatching and color mixing. This is still, these three pages were still in the same cafe where we went. And this is for just, um, you know, uh, wet on wet techniques. And here I wrote this brush is okay and this one is too. So I was testing <laughs> two of, uh, the brushes and two of them were okay. <laughs> and then I just went crazy with the colors and yeah, just created whatever this is. <laughs> Next up we went to a restaurant where I doodled this. This is actually one of my OCs and he's, I don't know, repairing or changing the tires of his um, motorbike, maybe, who knows. His head is a bit big, I don't know. Well, he's a bit, he's a skinny guy, so I don't know. It's just a sketch. And yeah, I played around with this in the restaurant. And I did this one. This is another one of my OCs in on the train back home. Yeah, I I do like her hair. It's, it's floaty. And I did add some white highlights later on when we were back home. And yeah, this is all I did <laughs> on this day. And I think it's it was in February or January. I don't remember. But yeah, it's been a while back. And then <laughs> I did this abomination. So Mira draws, I will link her channel down below, had a um, dinosaur drawing challenge and I wanted to participate too even though it was on holiday because I kind of never <laughs> can rest my brain and this happened and the eye looks hilarious. I mean if you if you hold close, if you hold the eye close and then maybe you could fix it but it's it's hilarious and it <laughs> looks so weird but it's also cute and I forgot the name of this uh, dinosaur but well now it's here <laughs> and this one is painted with my Turner acryl gouache I just wanted to paint something relaxing and cloudy evening sky I um, practice some brush strokes and I'm still not super happy with how I do my brush strokes especially with clouds but this was just a practice piece and yeah 
it's from um, March okay so yeah just my usual subject but I think if I would um, if I need any inspiration I would repaint this on a bigger scale with much more blending and nicer colors and yeah I still really like it for this piece I took inspiration from a travel blogger I uh, have met her on a wedding and she's a super nice awesome person and she does amazing travel photos I will also link her account down below and I asked her if I could uh, use uh, one of her paintings or if I could use her No, back again I asked her if I could use her photographs for a painting now I got it <laughs> and she said yes and then she had this um, super amazing photo I can't remember where it's been I think Thailand but I don't know but she travels around the world and this is amazing and this is also something I always wanted to do and it's very inspiring and yeah I painted this from her uh, Instagram feed and I painted this also with my Turner acrylic gouache and some Posca pets. Now this is another weird one in here. My husband asked me for a baby elephant and I wanted to um, experiment with my um, Ecoline paints again and so I painted this with the Ecoline paints and I think it's the first real illustration I did with them <laughs> and I like it and I like the um, the sheen on the uh, how is this part called so according to Google it's called trunk yeah why did I forget this anyway I painted this with some Posca pens and my um, Ecoline paints and I liked it a lot even though it's super, but I like the eyes. He's looking really cute. <laughs> um, this is a blue jay I did in acrylics. This is made with the Liquitex um, muted acrylic series. You might know those. Those are muted pink, muted gray, and all those. And yeah, this is with the muted series. And I did this also in March. Sometimes they are dated, and sometimes they are not. <laughs> and yeah i still really like this birdie also if you're watching this in um two weeks from now or one week from now in one week from now so next week i will have a shop update where i'm having much more um prints on sale because i cannot print myself at home and this one will also be uh up, up on my shop and my etsy next week yeah and now let's uh, continue with the video <laughs> This one's uh, painted with um, the Diamine fountain pen ink, but I've painted this with a brush and you can see the shimmer. So this is an ink that has a silver, I think it's mica pigment to it. And so it shimmers silvery and I've painted this monochromatic um, forest scene and I still like it. You might remember that I don't really like my forest scenes that I'm painting, but I still like this one. So this is the test I did for my Liquitex um, acrylic gouache. Nothing to see here. I mean, you could just watch the video um, on my acrylic gouache. It's now linked up here. And this is the birdie we made in my acrylic gouache. This one will also be up on my shop for sale in different sizes and whatnot. And yeah, it's a little blue tit because I like them and they remind me of spring and they make me happy and Yay! <laughs> this one is a daily art piece I did in the evening after I worked for already like nine hours and I was super tired and hungry and um, right there is the living room and there is my um, place where I put the fruits and there was an apple and I was like well let's go pretty basic and classic here and let's just paint a still life of an apple but I didn't really bother mixing the colors correctly or making a a decent sketch or anything so this is just an apple but it's not really the one I ate <laughs> it's, but I still like it the blanket in the background is not really my favorite I really have to learn how to make um, you know these wrinkles in the fabric and the texture but I like the apple I like this sheen to it even though I kind of overdid it with the sheen so it looks more wet now but I still like this apple a lot <laughs> and it was super tasty Oh, and I painted this with the Zenelier Tempera, the egg tempera that smells super bad and I told you about it before, but yeah, I painted it with those. 
And for the last piece in here, this is a magnolia tree from a photo I took. I accidentally, or more, well not accidentally, but I overworked this piece. It looked better in a previous stage, but then I kept adding and adding and adding details and then I found this line brush I had and totally forgot I have. And so I kept adding. Uh, I don't like the final product as much as I like the um, previous stages, but I still like it and I love Magnolia so much. I'm so sad that the season is now over again. And yeah, so here's a Magnolia painting. Um, also again done with the Turner acrylic gouache. You might notice a pattern here. And this is already it. <laughs> it's just a 12 minute um, sketchbook tour. And yeah, I hope you liked it for this um, another sketchbook Sunday special edition. Also, if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe and like and leave a comment and whatnot. I read all your comments and I answer once every four months. So this is great. <laughs> and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.